Hey there and welcome on back. As always, I'm Carl with Target's Attitude, absent my professor of knives and all things sharp. Cool the chairs on the floor, class is about to begin. First, a little bit of syllabus work. If you like knives and all things sharp, as I keep referring to, and the great outdoors, and you must or you wouldn't be watching this video, just have one question for you. Have you subscribed yet? You haven't? Why not? easy enough just click that button right down there it says subscribe after you've hit that go ahead and hit the bell right next to it gets you notified every time I put up a new video it's a win-win situation win for you because you get notified every time I put up a new video which is about once a week win for me because well the more subscribers I get easier it is for me to get neat new knives and that's the whole purpose of this now isn't it Plus, there should be a button floating around around here somewhere. Um, I think it's right over there. It might be over here. I think it's over there. But you'll see it. You can click on that any time during the video, and it'll subscribe you as well. Today, we're taking a look at another Best Tech knife. Now, if you saw my review of the Best Tech Warwolf, you'll know that uh, I kind of was left with some mixed feelings about the knife. Um, don't get me wrong, passed all our standard battery of tests. It felt good in the hand. It had a really nice uh, aesthetic to it. Very pleasant shape to the blade. It just didn't match up with all the hype I had heard about Best Tech. So tonight we're going to look at one that's a little higher end, but not all the way up at the top of the line for Best Tech. This one is the Ascot. Very nice looking knife. Blue and black G10 handle scales. Nicely textured. Um, kind of almost a digit pattern to it. The blade is D2 tool steel. Satin finish. Flat grind. Almost a saber grind. Nice drop point. Some very gentle jumping on the Back of the handle, very comfortable. Pocket clip is for right hand carry tip up only, unfortunately. You can't flip it, wish you could. Can't reverse it, but it still seems to work nicely. It's a nice shape of the pocket clip. It uses ceramic ball bearings, and as you can see, it's very smooth. Just floats right out, closes very easily. Just all in all, very pleasing so far. So let's go ahead and run our standard battery test. See what we got here. As always, this is straight out of the packaging. No uh, touch up, no nothing. So we'll start with a piece of scrap paper. And I see that is Yeah. Already I'm liking it better. That did great. See here. Now that piece of cardboard is too beat up and too whittled on. Let's see here. Well, we'll just cut a uh, new piece of cardboard. Now, yeah, so far, took that off beautifully. Punches through nicely. No real drag. Yeah. Much, much better. Much, much better than Wolf, Warwolf, I should say. So far, 
Doing great. Hang packaging test. Hang packaging test. Um, now my wife swiped most of my empty bottles here. Okay. Kind of already started cutting this one. Let's go ahead. This will actually make it harder since it's already been cut once, but it goes right in. Even allowing for the fact that the bottle is trying to collapse because it's already been cut once. Yeah. That was nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see here. Um, paracord, paracord. Here's a paracord. Where's the end? There it is. So let's see how it does on this. Very nice so far. Yeah. So the blade cuts beautifully. Let's see how the tip does. A little tiny loop I can just barely hold on to. One. Most of the way, yeah, two cuts. Very, very nice. Let's see here. Uh, heavy cow hide. You can see how thick this is. Let's see what we do here. Oh, wow. Anyone need a new set of laces? Because this... We did that. I'd almost be willing to use it in the field as a uh, makeshift hunting knife. Not quite the right blade shape, but it sure handled that beautifully. Uh, wood. Wood. Let's see here. Standard piece of scrap wood from a wood shop. And it's taking care of that, no problem. Here's the part that I'm always warning you not to do try yourself. I know I've said it a hundred times before, but that pivot point means that batoning this through wood is not a great idea. You're asking for troubles if you do. But since it hasn't been done before, and I keep getting asked for it, let's see just how well it does. Oh man. Okay, this is what uh, I was expecting from uh, the Warwolf after all the hype and didn't get. This thing is just, man, sailing through everything. So, let's do our standard uh, zip tie. You've heard me speak about zip ties before. These things have 101 uses for everyone from IT to electricians to packers looking to attach things to their backpack. Gun and knife shows to uh, secure a firearm so it can't be fired. Even uh, being used by... Uh, Security forces as temporary handcuffs if you need a field expedient. Yeah, I can talk. A field expedient method for that. These things are a pain to cut unless you've got a 
pair of diagonal cutters. Let's see how this does. And straight through with no trouble whatsoever. Let's see here. If I wanted to cut the tie short after having used it to secure something. Yeah, one, two. Keeps trying to pull it out of my hand, which means that, yeah, that's that's not the guy, nice fault. That's the fact that I can't hold on to the bloody thing, but gorgeous. Very nice. Now, let's grab the piece of paper back. Make sure the knife didn't take any damage during our test. Probably didn't, but you know. Just. Okay. That is what I was expecting from Best Tech, considering what all I had heard about them. And, I mean, just no damage to the blade whatsoever. A few shiny spots, but... Just wipe it on my shirt a little bit. And they're gone. This matches up with what I heard. And bad, still not a bad price point. I mean, minimum advertised price on it is $88. Um, just retail is 105 Which, okay, yeah, that's a lot more than you pay for most Kershaw's or most uh, CRKT's. But fit and finish is just Look how nicely that blade is centered there. It's got nicely sculptized liners. Don't know if you can see them, but yeah, it's nice. And it locks up nice and securely. All in all, I'm very glad I gave this company a second chance. And I think you will be too. But, in the meantime, my son's raising Cain about supper, so I'd better get going. In the meantime, I wish you luck. You take care. Remember, if you're going to do something, no matter how major or how minor, even if it's just getting something for your son to eat, do it with attitude. See you now. Bye.